First on 44 tonight, results are in for Addison and Ferrisburg on an election day that only featured one ballot item but had significant voter turnout. People in each town were asked if their elementary schools should be shut down this spring to address declining enrollment and rising costs. Here are the numbers. In Addison, voters rejected the plan 373 to 123. It was an overwhelming no in Ferrisburg, 884 to 160. And that's where we find Local 44's Devin Bates live from the Ferrisburg Town Hall tonight with more. Hi, Devin. Well, good evening, Lauren and Glenn. You mentioned voter turnout. There was a total of 1,044 votes cast here in Ferrisburg. Now, for some perspective, there were just under 1,200 casts in the 2016 presidential election. And the results really mirrored what we've been hearing from some people in the community over the past few days. Many of the voters who filed into Ferrisburg Town Hall to have their say on whether or not the town's elementary school should be closed next spring said they've had their minds made up for months. This isn't the path to follow. Act 46 was not a good bill and, it, and, it, and it's forcing people to, our school board unfortunately, to make decisions that they feel dictated by law to make. Finn Yarborough served on the Addison Northwest School District Board and said he resigned over the plan to shut down Ferrisburg Central School. When I found out that the school board was and the superintendent's office were considering closing both Ferrisburg and Addison schools, and when I subsequently learned that they were planning to close them regardless of the outcome of this vote, uh, just deferring that decision for a year, I was uh, surprised that it was happening so quickly, but I wasn't particularly shocked. Yarborough said it's his personal belief the board is trained to delegate all responsibility to the superintendent and convince residents it's the right direction. We asked a school board member on Monday about claims that students might eventually be moved regardless of election results. If we were to simply flat fund, or not flat fund, but um, not cut program and not consolidate schools, uh, we would be facing a, a tax increase of double what people were hit with last year. And we just don't think that that is uh, a reasonable expectation for the taxpayers to bear. And quite frankly, we don't think that would, would pass uh, with the voters. Now, according to the Addison Independent, there could still be plans to cut back at those two schools, regardless of how the vote turned out. Of course, we now know that was a no vote. But even so, they could still be looking at losing sixth grade in Ferrisburg and potentially fifth grade as well. Meanwhile, over in Addison, they could be losing every grade except kindergarten and first grade. So that is certainly something that we will have to keep an eye on in the coming weeks. But for right now, live in Ferrisburg, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.